Hey guys, I'm Chef Pam and this is Chef and More. Welcome back to my channel. If you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, let's not forget about the tips and tricks. Subscribe so that you won't miss any of my videos and tap that bell so you'll always be notified. Let's get started right now. And today, guys, we're going to be making beef and broccoli teriyaki tacos with our taco shells made from flour tortillas. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is put a little olive oil in our skillet so that we can crisp up our flour tortilla shells. And we're also going to be adding about a tablespoon of butter. The olive oil will help the tortilla shells crisp up and the butter will add flavor. So let's just get this all melted. And guys, I like to use the side of the tortilla shells that has the little brown specks on it already. I like to use that for the outside. It has a little bit more texture. You wanna take each shell, fold it in half, then we're going to lay it in the skillet and you'll see how we match up the round side of the skillet with the round half. This enables us to do two at a time. So we're just going to get these in and get them browned on both sides. It takes probably about a minute or so on the first side and the second side because by then the skillet will be good and hot. will only take about 30 seconds. Okay, they are ready to flip and they are nice and golden brown on the first side. And guys, once you flip them over, you just want to lift up the top of each one. That will ensure that it won't stick to the other side and you'll be able to open it like a taco when it's time to get it filled. So I'm going to go ahead, get these browned and knock the other three, four out. Okay, we are all done with our crispy taco shells now. Don't they look delicious? Okay, we have our skillet ready. Guys, I have some Angus beef here, and if you can see the little lines in here, let me point it out to you. The white marbling, that's what you want when you buy your beef. That's called marbling, it's also called fat. That's what adds your flavor. So make sure you buy the right kind of beef. And we also have our broccoli here, it's all chopped and clean. We're also going to be adding in my favorite seasonings and teriyaki sauce, about a fourth of a cup of teriyaki sauce. And the seasonings we'll be using will be garlic powder, onion powder, and today, ginger. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and make sure our skillet is hot with some coconut oil. We're going to use organic coconut oil, about a tablespoon, just to make sure our meat has a little bit added flavor and it just won't stick to the skillet. Okay. Now that our skillet is nice and hot, we're gonna go ahead and get our beef into the skillet and you just wanna spread it out in a single layer as evenly as possible so that it'll brown evenly and quickly. Listen at that sizzle, yes. Okay guys, so now we have that. We're gonna just let that cook and brown really well. We're going to now add our seasonings. I have here some pink Himalayan salt, just a little bit to bring out the flavor. And as I mentioned before, we'll be putting in 
our garlic powder. I'm probably putting in about a tablespoon or two of each. Our ginger, and we also added in our onion powder. Okay guys, I'll just give that a quick stir and we're also going to add in a little bit of black pepper in just a second. Okay, and guys always remember salt enhances the flavor and black pepper adds flavor. So just want to put a little bit of black pepper in here to add to that flavor. Okay, now we're going to add in our broccoli and I'm going to spoon it out so that I won't get any of the extra liquid that continued to drain off of it once we washed it. Because we don't want our beef to be too liquidy, we will be adding in our teriyaki sauce and that's going to provide enough liquid for just a slight sauce into your taco meat. Okay, now give this a quick stir, make sure it's all mixed in there and well combined so that it can cook evenly. Now we're just going to add in our cherry apples. Then we're going to let it simmer for about 15 minutes just until the broccoli is fork tender. You just want it to be fork tender. Okay, guys. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and put a top on it and let it simmer about 15 minutes. Okay, that's all done. It's simmered for about 15 minutes. As you can see, it's nicely cooked. Our teriyaki sauce has blended in there really well. So now I'm going to just go ahead and sit this to the side just a little bit here so that we can build our tacos. And again, we have our taco shells that we made from tortilla shells. And here I have some shredded cabbage and some purple onion that we're going to be topping our tacos with as well as some little crispy onions. Okay, and typically guys, I would have put carrots in it, but I didn't have it and I'm a firm believer, use what you have, and this is what I had on hand. So feel free to add more into your cabbage, making a slaw even, with maybe some shredded carrots as well. Okay, so first of all guys, you wanna make sure you put your cabbage on the very bottom. This will ensure that the bottom of your tacos don't get soggy. You always put something on the bottom. It can be cheese, it can be lettuce if you're making a regular taco. In this case, we're going to be putting our cabbage on the bottom. Now, after we get our cabbage down there, guys, we're going to go ahead and put in our beef and broccoli right on top. And again, I'm using a slotted spoon because I don't want it to be very saucy. Okay, so drain that really well. Again, I don't want it to be saucy. I'm going to put about two of these spoonfuls on top of each taco. And guys, you'll see in the end that we will have quite a bit of the beef and broccoli mixture left. And it makes a fantastic leftover meal. Just go ahead and top your taco with the onions and the crispy onion. Now we're going to go ahead and bang out the other three. And guys, right up above, I have a recipe for cooking fluffy rice perfect every time. So if you wanna know how to make the rice so that you can then just have beef and broccoli teriyaki over rice for a nice leftover meal.
Okay guys, and we are pretty much done. Just get this last taco topped with these crispy onions. Yes, delicious. Okay guys, we have made our beef and broccoli teriyaki tacos. All right, don't they look delicious? Yes, awesome guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. I'm Chef Tim. This is Chef and More. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so that you'll always get my videos and all my updates. And I'll see you next time.